Hello there. I think we have to finish a couple of OBS videos, don't we? Okay, so how about we're gonna make um, starting screen, chat screen and gaming screen. Okay, ready? Okay, let's start it. So, where are we gonna start? You know guys, the regular open OBS as an administrator. Yup. And when it started, we're gonna make a new scene with the plus button in the left corner below. Cool. And we're gonna make one scene here starting. Okay. Click OK. Awesome. And pull it on the top, please. On the left side, in the, so in the scenes. So this is gonna be the starting stream scene. Okay, we're gonna add now a new resource as a media resource. I'm gonna use the Nerd or Die glitch package. I'm really satisfied with it, and it contains almost everything what you need for your setup. So this is gonna be the background first. Cool. And I'm gonna add the media file for it. Okay, so I got the desktop. Here we go with the glitch, glitch overlay and scenes white and I have the starting mp4. It's gonna be an animated screen, okay? So this is an animation of my mp4, probably not so long, maybe like 10-15 seconds long, but the starting gonna be like up to 10 minutes. So you're gonna click here on loop, so the animation is gonna disappear in the next 10 minutes and you click OK. So we have the background, now you have a lot of options, as an image in the right side you can put your socials and what you find really important or some text what you would like to see there, maybe your chat or anything what you find really important. What, another thing what's really cool here, what I usually suggest, because you just don't want to drop them in the middle of the black hole, hey we're starting and I'm, I don't know why and when, okay? So we making a countdown here. This is, I'm, I'm, I, have, I have to say it guys, this is the screen what I don't suggest for beginners, okay? I'm gonna explain really why before then I'm gonna add the next source. Because basically people leaving during the starting stream screen or they coming later. So if you have like four or five people and you're losing two, that, that's gonna be bad. That's gonna be horrible for your stream. If you have like, 10,000 people and you're gonna put up a show and you have a starting screen then it makes sense But a lot of people love it. So I'm gonna show you guys anyway how to do it. Okay, so the second we're gonna make a countdown here countdown oh, Sorry Here we go So we're gonna make a countdown and this is gonna be media 5 2 I'm gonna take it from the countdown timer. We have three different timers in this package It's a 1 5 and 10 minute and normally do 10 minute uh, even if I do these things, I do with the transparent uh, media, so people can see actually me in the background and I'm already chatting with them. I love to chat with people when they when I start my stream, still I'm setting up my stuff and uh, posting multiple things so I can engage with them from the beginning. Okay, I click open. You don't have to press your loop because it's a countdown, it's gonna be a 10 minute video, it's a webinar. Okay, click OK. And you can reposition that at the bottom. And after when it's down, you can switch for the other scene, okay? Uh, we're not seeing the resources now, but if I'm gonna click again, back, uh, they're gonna be there. It's a little OBS glitch, don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to screen capture, which is gonna be your gaming screen, okay? I'm gonna click on rename, it's gonna be gaming screen, okay? Awesome. So we did it in the last time with green screen, made a cam, background cutting, etc, etc. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to add the cam with a frame, okay? So first we're gonna add our webcam like last time. So we're gonna add the video capture device. And this is gonna be the camera. Click OK. I'm gonna choose your USB cam. And by custom you're gonna choose the highest resolution. So you can resize it. Awesome. Cool. You're gonna make it smaller. Perfect. And you can put it here. So now we're gonna add the frame for it. This is a 69, but I want, to f well, I want the free 
no, I want a 4 free. Okay? This is 69, but I want a 4 free one. So, what I'm gonna do, guys, um, I'm gonna add either a video as a frame, what I'm gonna do now, or you can also add an image. Okay? Uh, I'm gonna show you guys now the video. So, we're gonna do a media source again, and this is gonna be the cam frame. Click OK. <clears throat> we're gonna browse it. We're going back a little bit, and there is here is webcams. And I'm gonna do the for free so I can show you guys how to get the cam, okay? Click open, uh, and you're gonna click loop, okay? Your camera gonna be done all the time till you play, and you want this animation not only for 15 seconds, the whole time you want it. So you're gonna click loop, really important. Check mark on, please. Click OK. Cool. Uh, we have it. And guys, this is like Photoshop, okay? Everything is working like layers. So this frame have to be above your cam screen unless i'm gonna show you guys i'm just gonna switch them up it's gonna go underneath it so it's like layers really important they work like layers so please always frame on the top come at the bottom okay cool uh, we're gonna resize it this is a good size maybe a little bit too much i'm gonna reuse it cool and we're gonna also increase the size of the cam here back to normal size and you're gonna hold alt on the keyboard and gonna cut from one of the side and it's not gonna deform okay cool now we got a free free cam oh, sorry we got a four free cam now um so that's it for the game screen you start your game and you have your cam there works absolutely fine the next one and the last one what we're gonna do for today in the video that's gonna be the just chatting or chatting screen a lot of people requested this one and this is a normal thing what you normally put on your stream you love to have moments when you're going out from the gaming and chatting with your people or when you're starting so we're gonna make a new scene here it's gonna be just or, or chatting chatting we're gonna make it chatting okay cool um we're gonna add the cam here i also have this scene i really love this one because i love to communicate a lot with my audience so we're gonna add the cam here you can add them from existing source already the camera perfect you got a full screen that's what we want here and you're gonna add additionally a chat here okay a on-screen chat we're gonna do the following you go to streamlabs.com you're gonna log in with your provider where you're streaming i'm gonna log in with twitch okay totally fine and in the left side, you click on all widgets. And in the first line, the right one is the chat box. You click on that. Then we're gonna have here the widget URL and you're gonna copy the URL from here, okay? You can adjust your chat here. You can make a different themes for it. You can make badges, different emotes. You can background color, but it's not affecting actually the chat. Uh, text color you can change, font size really important if you don't like, etc, etc, etc. You can adjust every small detail here, even with HTML and CSS you can make an extra job on it. But now I'm going to show you the basics, how to add this one. Okay, so you copied the source and what you're going to do is go to the sources and you're going to add the browser, okay? And this is going to be the chat. Click OK. And you're going to give the size for this one here. So I'm going to do like uh, 400 times 800. Cool. And the browser source, sorry guys, I'm going to pull it out because this is a private link. You're going to paste the link, what you copied. And after that, you click OK. Awesome. Now when you type in your OBS chat, it should show up here. Okay. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to make a test here. One second. We switch the keyboard and it should work fine. You see guys, so easy. All right guys, so that's gonna cover the starting screen, gaming screen and the chat screen also. Um, if you guys love the video, please don't forget to subscribe. Have any questions, leave a comment below or Discord or you can catch me on live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 18.30 till late on Western European time. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time, take care guys. Bye.